You know what game I probably should. Let's head off to bed. And hey guys, decaf 13 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Last time, we were getting ready for the cultural festival. And today, the festival begins. And we wonder if our class project will be a success. We should hurry to school. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> Seriously, what was that calm tone for it? Damn, this classroom looks beautiful! We are amazing. The class booth. Group date cafe. <laughs> no one's stopping by. Of course. Come in for a first-hand experience with group dating. Oh. I feel as bad as you do, Yukiko. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Yep. <sighs> oh, well. And there's not that many people passing by here in the first place. Hmm. I think we need some shills to drum up interest. Shills? Shills? Uh, who? Who else is here besides us? Isn't that kind of sad? Kinda. Do we have a choice? We need customers to get the ball rolling. If there aren't many people passing by, we have to get the attention of the ones who are by any means necessary. Hmm. True. But there's only five of us here. And that is true too. Yo, how's it going? Perfect timing, Kanji. I came to check up on you. Guys. Hey. Perfect timing. But now we've got four guys and two girls. Hey, you guys are cross-dressing tomorrow anyways. Why don't you can sit on the girls' side? <laughs> what? I'm not gonna Alright. Let's boldly sit in the girls' area. Huh. What are you guys waiting for? Oh, you're volunteering? Yep. Never run out of surprises, man. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, Yosuke. Well, let's get started. Uh, uh you guys can start now. Someone please start. How? <sighs> the silence is heavy, and the awkwardness is off the scale. Should you try asking a question as if you were a girl? You know what? Who here do you like most? I can't talk about something like that here. Actually, what the hell is this? A mock group date? <laughs> uh, I guess it's my fault for bringing up the shill thing. <laughs> no, really. Uh, oh, okay, uh, out of the three of us here, who would you date? Hmm. Hey, I object to this line of questioning. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Alright, let's start with you, Chiesan. Hmm. Huh? You feel like Chie is looking over at you. Sh could she be signaling you to help her? Uh, how about you, Chie? Uh, you can go. <laughs> Me? Uh, who would I choose to take? Well, I already know. Well, uh, that's private. <laughs> Isn't it? Chie gave you a wink of thanks. Okay, your turn. Who would you want to date? Who would I want to date? Oh, definitely Yosuke. <laughs> there are many forms of love. Didn't you tell me something like that? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, I admit I'm pretty dependable and decent looking, right? <laughs> Yosuke is proud for some reason. Huh. Ugh. <sighs> this is embarrassing. Silence is heavy ag yet again. Hey, Risa! Hi, Risa. <laughs> she just ran away. <laughs> Market, the group date 
cafe is officially a failure. Yep. Uh, the first day of the cultural festival ended on a strange note. You decided to at least walk around the school a bit before going home. Huh. Uh, oh well. Yasugami Hallway. Hey, Cohen Daisuke. Oh, that's pretty cool. This class had a good idea. Hmm. A play? <laughs> Piglet, what? You're Hamlet? <laughs> Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet. That just sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Thanks, Co. Yeah, first blazer bust, man. <laughs> you had fun with going dice guy. Well then. Hey, I. Yeah. What do we got here? Hmm? The long nosed fortune teller. <laughs> that seems, uh, quite weird. Hmm. Margaret? I know that chuckle. Huh? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay then. Um, huh. No shit, no! D don't ask her about that! No! No you don't! Um, don't listen to her, I. <laughs> Awkward. You toured the cultural festival with your friends. <laughs> well, that could have been much more awkward, that uh, thing with I. Friggin' Margaret! What do you think you're doing? Hey, Dojima. Ugh! Ugh. Yeah, second day of the culture festival! Woo! <laughs> uh, second day of the culture festival. At a classroom before the contest begins. Uh, well, here we are. Hey, Teddy. Uh, Why are you guys just standing there? Come on, hurry up and sit down. All right. Come on, Kanji Kun, over here. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I I know you won't. Cross dressing pageant pageant will begin soon. Looks like you'll have to give up and let Yukiko apply makeup on you. Well, at least it's Yukiko. What about me? Teddy? It turns out I'm entering this too. I must win this contest to see my dream realized. What kind of dreams are you having, man? He seemed bored, so we signed him up as a last minute contestant. <laughs> so you're making him suffer too, huh? Well, if he's been signed up, there's nothing we can do about it. Yep. Now those gonna work on Teddy? Alright. Huh. The Nauto Teddy team's unstoppable! <laughs> well then, uh First I need some dazzling makeup. <laughs> You're right. Then I'll go borrow a makeup kit from someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. We gotta use fake eyelashes, right? Oh god, Yosuke. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> I, and when the pageant actually starts, I want to actually point something out about Yosuke and Kanji's costumes. <laughs> so it begins. Shut it, you! Kanji! <laughs> I just want to talk a little about Kanji's costume. 
very briefly. Uh, in case you can't tell, Kanji's costume is actually modeled after Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I guess. Anyway. <laughs> now, don't rip me apart for asking, but what would you say is your best feature? My eyes. It's so awkward. Yosuke's costume. Hi. Oh god, that voice. But anyway, Yosuke's costume is actually modeled after someone from Persona 3. Uh, when I actually go and do that game, I will tell you who he's modeled after. Anyway... God, that MC must be enjoying himself. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, like, no way. <laughs> I think that's the point. I actually do like that description that he's given me. Yeah, people! I will beat your ass with this wooden sword, motherfucker. Quite the contrary. A girl I like entered me. Hey, now's not the time to reveal stuff like that. <laughs> Damn that Kashiwagi. How dare she tear away our innocence like this? Now I'm scarred for life, damn it. Calm down, Yosuke. <laughs> Our random, Okay, let's see how now to do with Teddy. Teddy? Um, huh. I just want to go into a little bit of Teddy's costume, too. He's actually modeled after a persona, Alice. Also, Alice in Wonderland, if you didn't know. <laughs> huh. There's that one guy! I'd hit it. <laughs> of course, the votes have been collected. Oh dear. Hey, Teddy won! Good job, Teddy. Hmm? Nice, Teddy. Oh, he's happy. <laughs> An honorary judge. 
that's one lame prize for what you gotta go through. <laughs> Not everyone can get that excited over a judge position. But Teddy can. Seeing him so happy kind of makes me happy too. <laughs> Good God. This is great. I love the direction this is going. Of course, she would be the one. Ugh, you changed back into your uniform and returned to the hall. And we got the drag costume. <laughs> I can wear that if I want. Later that day in the beauty pageant dressing room. You Hanako. Dress yourselves up as well as you can, you little brats. Rival woman on a soap opera? <laughs> Wait, is Kashiwaki serious about winning this? <laughs> Mr. Teddy dropped this off. He said that they're swimsuits. <laughs> How about no one's voting for you, you old hag? I brought my own swimsuit, of course. Ew. I brought my own too. <laughs> Ew. What's with these people? Hey, let's let's not do this. What's that? Getting cold feet? Wise of you to back out of a fight you can't win. Bitch, who do you think you are? Call yourself an idol, but you're just jailbait with no brains, no guts, and especially no figure. What? There's no way their type would be crowned Miss Enaba. Why not just let them back up? No, you're gonna be crowned Miss Enaba either, you fat pig. <laughs> oh shit, my battery. Excuse me for a moment while I go and recharge. Alright, hey guys, I'm back after the little break. But anyway, let's continue from where we left off. <laughs> Snoring? What are you talking about? Your face is as foul as your mouth, and your brain's as rotten to boot. Not as foul as your face. <laughs> If you did run, there would be no way in hell she could catch you. <laughs> well, we did kind of run away last time. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! We gotta stand our ground and get our revenge for that! How can we cower and hide when they're picking a fight? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Nata sounded cute when she had her voice all high up. <laughs> you decided to watch the beauty pageant together with Yosuke and Kanji. But that's not all for the Culture Festival's main event. There's still more to come in the Miss Yasukami pageant! Sorry about that. The judging continues. Can you hear the crowd going wild? 
Not really. Now I can. Hey, Chie. Lies. That liar. It stink. <laughs> Thank you very much. Up next, another contestant from class two, Miss Yukiko Amagi. Yukiko. <laughs> like an advertisement than a speech. Four beautiful ones and two just horrifically ugly ones. Oh, this is bound to go well. Disgusting. Oh, Chie. <laughs> you sound like a dirty old man. Yup. I agree with you, Kanji. Chie Senpai is cute, though. Yeah. <laughs> you go. Uh, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Exactly how I 
Reset. <laughs> Well, it's kind of expected of him. Idol, don't you think, Yosuke? <laughs> Ooh, Naoto's turn. Huh? Miss Naoto? She's not coming out. Huh. It's a little weird. <laughs> well, sad news, everyone, but Miss Naoto won't be coming out for this portion. Oh, Naoto. Fuck you. <laughs> well, I had a feeling that would happen. Too bad, mm. Kanji. <laughs> huh? No, uh, Well, yeah. Don't you think it was brave of her to at least show up in the first round? That's true, Kanji. Yeah, you're right. Well, it's about time we voted. Who are you going for? Let's see. Who am I going to vote for? Hmm. Ah, oh, screw it. I'll vote for my girlfriend. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, everyone. The results are in. Yay. You guys out in the audience had a hard time picking a favorite. Lots of different opinions, with every one of our contestants having their own enthusiastic supporters. On the other hand, Huh, now tell one. You that face. How could I lose a beauty pageant? Ew. <laughs> Miss Kajawaki, <laughs> I can't believe this. Again, man. <laughs> oh. Get off the screen. Uh. Uh. The Miss Yasugami High pageant has come to an end. Finally. <laughs> oh, big bro! hey, girl. Hey, Dojima. Ah, good thing we found you. Hmm? I've got to make a business trip to the prefectural office, and I won't be back until tomorrow. Ah. Shame it had to fall during your school's culture festival. Nanako and I were both looking forward to it. Hey, don't worry about it. Sorry to dump this on you, but could you show Nanako around? Of course I will, man. See you, Dojima. Have a safe trip. Yeah. You have fun too, Nanako. <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> hey, Nanako chan, why don't you come over and stay at my place tonight? Ooh. Does that mean I can come too? Huh? Uh, uh, what did you just say you 
Jackie Chan? <laughs> Ooh, a celebration at your inn? Is that okay with you? Uh-huh. I promised you guys a while ago, so yeah. Hell yeah, I'm down. Sounds good. Can I boil <laughs> eggs in the hot springs? What? <laughs> oh, I should call my grandpa and let him know. It's just one night, right? <laughs> It'll be fun. Everyone will be there. Mm. Can I? She's offering, so why not? Let's go. I want to spend the night. <laughs> Staying at the Amagi Inn tonight. Yay, Amagi Inn. Now oh, this is gonna be really fun. <laughs> A room at the Amagi Inn. Aww, we're in different rooms. Of course we are, Teddy. Well, <laughs> duh. It's one thing if they were next door, but they're so far away. Yukiko said there weren't that many open rooms, so they're up on another floor. First thing they're gonna do is take Nanako-chan to the hot springs. Is it one of those girls and guys together springs? No. I don't want to take more than one bath if I don't have to. Why don't we take a dip before we hit the sack? Yeah, sure. Yeah. By the way, what's up with this room? It oh, looks yeah. pretty expensive. Definitely does. Wonder why it's not taken. Oh, you thought so too. Normally a room like this wouldn't be open during the busy season. Yeah. I was trying not to think about it, but you don't think something happened here, do you? What do you mean? Senpai? What are you all quiet about? Now that you mention it... Shit. Jeez, that freaked me out. You answer it, Kanji. What are you freaking out for? <laughs> Someone answer it. Thank you, Kanji. Kanji's hands are shaking. Hello? Uh oh, I see. Cool, thanks. <laughs> that was the front desk. Oh. <laughs> Said the hot springs should be pretty empty right now. Nice. Wow, I'm Aggie in. Great service. Broke out in a cold sweat. <laughs> well, come on then. Let's go wash it off. Yeah. I can't wait to take a bath with everyone. We'll all face the same way and wash each other's backs. And we're gonna sing songs while looking at Mount Fuji, right? I can't wait either, Teddy. Man, everything on this side is so fun. It's all thanks to you for bringing people over to my side. <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. No problem, Teddy. Teddy is gazing at you in gratitude. Teddy gets a new move. Samaricarm. I don't even use Teddy and he has Samaricarm. A poison skewer. Come on! The elevator's here! Ah. <laughs>
Jeez, the girls are pervs. <laughs> Well then. Um, not a good John. Um, are you okay with staying over at someone else's place like this? Aren't you scared? No, it's lots of fun. For how I'm always alone until Big Bro comes back. Oh, uh, I see. But I'm good at staying home alone. I always do what my dad tells me, like not opening the door for strangers. She's such a good girl. <laughs> Come on, let's race to the other side. Whoever loses owes everyone a fruit milk. <laughs> I want lemon soda. Oh, uh, what? Me too? <laughs> Check out my dead man's float. Wow, you're good. Oh, what a giant spring. Oh, God. Um, this isn't what it appears to be. Um. You guys! Hey, wait. W why are you guys here? <laughs> wait, wait, everyone calm down. Maybe we can explain. Oh, God. This is the worst possible situation. As the leader, you have to. You know what? Hold the line, man. You must drop your courage and held your ground. But, when you think about it, does courage even matter in a situation like this? You gave the order to retreat. Retreat! <laughs> it's an honest mistake. Kanji's so red. We're not gonna this. Damn right. Ah. Damn it, Yukiko! I've got the times mixed up. <laughs> Yukiko! Are you serious? Aw, oh, crap! I think we went too far with them! Uh, what should we do? Oh, uh, it'll be fine as long as we keep quiet about it. This'll just be between us girls. They called us and said it was our turn! Do you want to race again, Nanako-chan? Like, we don't know your mistake. I get you guys for this. You changed into a yukata and returned to the room. In the bath towel. <laughs> Damn it! I checked again, and sure enough, the hot spring's supposed to be for men at that hour. <laughs> They're so evil. Evil, I tell you! <laughs> Calm down, Yosuke. I don't know why, but my head's all bumpy. Probably got hit a couple times with those washing pans, dude. <laughs> Those are lumps from the pails whacking you in the head. You got lumps, man. <laughs> Kanji, you sound like you're high. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, uh, guys, did you, uh, see anything? Nope. No. None whatsoever. Damn it. I lead a cursed life. <laughs> Let's just go to bed. Yeah. Hold it, senpai. Do you hear something? Huh? <laughs> the hell? What was that? <laughs> I heard it too! Um... D don't tell me. Is there one here? One what? One here? One what? Dude, what are you talking about? This room. 
It's the one that announcer was standing before she died. My mom was talking about it. Um. Oh God, you said it. I was trying to block it out, and you had to go and say it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um. So that's why there's talismans here. Yukiko, that witch tempted us here, knowing full well. Um. Yukiko, why? Damn it. First thoughts bring now this. We've been completely suckered. Completely. <clears throat> <sighs> Shit. Oh crap. There's no way I'm sleeping through this. <laughs> I've made up my mind. I'm going to Yuki-chan's room. I can't sleep soundly unless I'm watching everyone's sleeping faces as I drift off. The hell? Uh, sleeping faces? Are you gonna sneak into their room? You can't be... <sighs> Ooh. That is the most horrifying thing I've ever heard. What should we do? Hey, we really shouldn't, guys. Then we'll have to spend the night here. Um. No way! I can't! I won't! Alrighty! It'll be a surprise awakening for them! Come on, we, we can endure this, can't we? Eh, oh well. Turns out you'll be sneaking into the girls' room. <sighs> oh well. Good morning, everyone. When did you change? It's a surprise awakening. No, a surprise break in. This is Teddy reporting in. When did you put that on? I feel awkward without it, so I always bring it. Stop hmm. talking like that. Oh, check it out, an airbrush. And it's got long strands of hair on it. That sounds creepy, man. You're really into this, aren't you? Damn straight. It's time I got revenge for the camp out. <laughs> hey, good point. Alright, I'll get my revenge too. I feel that there is no revenge to be gotten for me. A, a toothbrush! Holy crap, my heart's pounding. You guys are fucking but what weird. About John? Don't worry. Nanako-chan is a magnanimous girl. Leave her out of it, Teddy. Well, that's true. But try not to wake her up. She's not part of our revenge scheme. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I finally reached the photons. They're fast asleep. Excuse me. Yuki-chan, I'm scared of the ghosts. All right. I can do this, too. It's time to prove I'm a man. Mm -hmm. Huh? One, two. Where's the rest of the futons? I don't know, man. Huh? Hmm? What's going on? Ah! <laughs> no! Demon spawns! things no student should see. You decided to give up and go back to your room to sleep. <sighs> oh, this feels great. I love, love, love being able to take a bath anytime I want. How's Nanako-chan? Fast asleep. Hey, did you know Miss Kashiwagi and Hanako-san were staying in the room next to ours? Damn it! One room off! Well, not that they were in it, but still! Those two seem to get along really well. I'm surprised. They come and stay here now and again. Usually they come to cry when something breaks their hearts. So that's, that could be anything, then. <laughs> huh. I guess they were really devastated from losing to Nautokun. <laughs> Please don't bring that up 
again. Oh, well, not they do make a good team. Hmm. Uh, the night the Amagi Inn passes by. Thankfully. I mean, hopefully. Not thankfully. And. Yeah, let's save, why not? Uh, I can't believe we're so close to finishing this game. Uh, Monday the 31st, Halloween. You came back from the Amagi Inn. You have the day off today because it's not the cultural... You have the day off today because the culture festival was on Sunday. Without any clues, all you can do is wait for the incident to progress. What should you do today? I'm actually going to do this one last thing, then wrap up this episode real quickly. Hmm? It's from Yosuke. Thank goodness. I knew I could count on you to pick up. You're free today, right? Can you give me a hand here? I'm begging you. Huh? Yosuke seem, sounds very flustered. All right, man. Yes, I owe you one, partner. Okay, I'll see you at the food court. See you, man. Yosuke hung up. You should head over to Juness. All right, why not? What am I? What else am I gonna on, gonna do on Halloween? Juness food court. You and Yosuke are working hard on putting up the decorations. Ah, oh, looking nice, man. Yeah, I'm done too. Ooh, perfect timing. We really are a well-oiled machine, huh? Yeah. Man, that costume's a good fit for you. Thanks. It's so natural on you that it looks like your everyday outfit. <laughs> hey, leave it to me. <laughs> what kind of boast is that? Anyway, you're a lifesaver. Thanks. No problem, Yosuke. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Teddy. <laughs> it looks like he's having fun. Yeah. Guess he's like our store mascot now. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Hey, uh, Yosuke Kun, uh, what's going on here? Oh, there you are. These are the decorations for the Halloween fair. Huh? <laughs> Come on, Yosuke Kun. That guy canceled a while ago. Yosuke? since it was so early. Well, I'll be counting on you to clean this up. This, this is amazing, though. Did you two uh, do all this yourselves? If you're going to work this hard, maybe we should have gone through with it. Yosuke? Stop looking at me like that. You're only making it worse. I'm going to kick your ass, dude. I, I didn't have to waste my sun my Monday here with you. Yosuke apologized and gave you a thank you gift before you went home. It was the Halloween costumes that weren't used. Yeah, so we get the Halloween costumes for that little event. It's pretty cool. <sighs> it's cold today. Yeah. It's almost November. Now for our next story. Hmm? Mr. Kozai of the Environmental Concern Society visited a local elementary school to investigate the effects of the fog. Thick fog has appeared frequently in Inaba over the past few years, and the cause of it has yet to be determined. There has been much conjecture on the origin of this fog, and some are concerned about its effects on the human body. Town officials believe it highly unlikely that the fog could be harmful. One official suggested that the concern is largely tied to public anxiety in response to the recent murders. On hearing about the phenomenon, Mr. Kozai visited the local elementary school to investigate its effects. He interviewed the children playing happily in the fog about their health and any anxieties they were facing. Oh, that man came to my school. Oh. Hmm. Upon completing the investigation, Mr. Kozai issued a statement. 
In this day and age, one must stay aware of even slight changes in the environment and react politically. Today, I talked with a young student who spoke her own mind, free from the influence of those around her. You know, I just does something. It's Mr. Koza guy is on the news. That could be bad, you know? It was an attitude and an example that we as adults can learn from. Please don't tell me this, Mr. Koza guy. should always be to protect these children's futures. Don't tell me this Koza guy is going to be the one on the Midnight Channel. On that note, Ugh. Mr. Kozai ended his statement. The assembled parents applauded, but some raised concerns that it was a show to attract voters in the next election. <laughs> Probably was. The news continues. <gasps> hey, Joe! Ooh, bless you. My head hurts. Oh, that's not good. Nanako's face looks red. <laughs> you gave Nanako some medicine and had her lie down. Hey, big bro. Hey. Um... It's going to be winter soon. Uh, if it snows, can we make a snowman? Sure, Nanako. Anything for we you. We can play a lot. <laughs> yeah. Let's play all the time until spring. Let's. Nanako seems to have fallen asleep. You should take her to bed later. Nanako. Of course, we're gonna play a lot. <laughs> Why wouldn't we? Uh, school. Figure skating. Oh, great, we're getting an English lesson. What does the figure and figure skating refer to? Uh. I think it's geometric shapes. Yeah, like figure eight, like in go karts. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Mr. Kondo. Such a weird individual, you know? It's lunchtime now. Hmm? Who dat? Naoto! Hey! Good day. Good day, indeed. <laughs> I should walk her home after school, though. Just cause I'm a little worried. Oh, cow! I thought that was Naoto again. <laughs> huh, Ko's acting weird again. He's acting all depressed. Wow, we're just popular today. God, with depressed people. And you, yes, yes, Yumi's acting weirdly too. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, but finally a free moment. Anyway, I'm wrapping up the episode here. So I'll see you guys next time for some more Let's Play. Persona 4 Golden. See you guys then. Bye. Yeah,